Hello! Oops. Hello, it's Alice the Dragon, and I am back in Delver. Uh, I... Oop. There's a bat around. Yep, yep, there you are. Dang it. Come on, bat. Come on, get... get uh, come on. I can get you. If I maybe don't break my arrows on the dang walls. Oh, well, that was smart. There we go. Just wasting all my dang arrows. Granted, I have quite a few. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, continuing. Ooh. Oh, those things freak me out. Um, continuing my lecture series <clears throat> on life, the universe, and everything. I think that would be a good thing to do today. Where is the... Where is he? Where is he? Uh, we, uh, in the last lecture, we covered... Um, the very basics of existentialism being that we know that we sense stuff and we experience stuff very likely in completely unique ways from everybody else. If uh, everybody else even exists. Um, how about I... Oh, I have a... Got fire bomb and arrow bomb. Resist magic. Those are my restoration. Why do I have a poison potion? Oh sh! Oh, uh, 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 get got on that slow stuff. Ouch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back and have that ale actually. Um. Yeah. Oops. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, and, and then, uh, just, like, why the scientific method seems to hold up, uh, given that, you know, things are replicatable, uh, and, uh, it's, uh, I don't want to say easy, but, um, you know, stuff can be verified, yeah, you know, like, by yourself, if you have to. And, uh... So I guess that's where I'm gonna start from there. Um... We could get a little bit into the, uh... Like, all the interesting stuff that's been coming out from physicists in the last, oh, uh... I wanna say 20 years? Wait a minute, hold on. Bella wants to uh, get under her blanket, so I'm going to help her get under her blanket because she doesn't have opposable thumbs. There you go. You're going to just cuddle right, right there? That's a good girl. All right. Um, <laughs> she's lying on my leg right now. Okay. A little melee action here. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Two to six, six to ten. Yeah, not, e not even... Ooh, I hear you. Uh, yeah, I hear about a lot of a lot of really cool things, uh, uh, especially coming out of particle physics, and yeah, just the idea that uh, particles can be both a wave and a particle and that measuring something one way will can determine you what determine you uh, you, you, you can find out only like one thing oh yeah there's plenty more guys can I hit him? okay okay Go on, spider. Get out of here. There we go. Only... Ooh. Apple. Nope. No room for the apple. Ooh! Excellent composite bow. Yeah. I want that. 
I want that quite a bit. Don't step in that. And, uh, you know, when, it, when I was younger, I was really into uh, music. It kind of runs in the family. And, uh, yummy, yummy. Uh, So really, uh, you know, one of my first forays into, okay, what is the, uh, you know, what does physics tell me about the world and, and how things work in the world? And that guy is stunned. Excellent. Magic speed health. Magic speed health. Um... I have been using magic a bit. I'm okay with being slow. My health is really good. And I've got so far plenty of food. So yeah, let's do let's do magic. Uh helmet of magic. Six AC. This is only three AC. And it and it's also a magic one, so it might as Okay. Uh hello. Hang on, hang on. Drop the apple for the moment. Uh, get that. Put this on. Get that. All right, we're 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 good. So, I'm inclined to think, yeah, of the universe in in two main ways. One, yeah, in in terms of vibrations. So, uh, yeah, when you listen to music. It's, it's hardly ever just one instrument or one voice. And uh, even when it's one voice, it's pretty darn cool. Um, uh, full up on, on that. Do I even need the lantern anymore? Like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Just magic, haste, discern reality, teleport. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave that. Yep. Another, another Zomber. Uh, yeah, I think about the universe in two main ways, and, uh, you know, woo! That was a close one. Um, uh, yeah, one, one is kind of like the universe is one big symphony where yeah every every person place animal thing has its own oh come on ouch there we go phew uh maybe i should lay off the magic for a little bit um and i'm going to eat my apple and, uh, yeah, you have, yeah, notes that work well together, that harmonize, and you have notes that, uh, are discordant. Uh, you could even say that, uh, people, you know, like, you, you, you know how, you know, one tune just doesn't work with another, and... And then, you know, maybe you bring in a third party and, uh, and suddenly things work again. You know, that ha happens to me all the time in social groups. Hey, Bat. Come on, Bat. Dang. Oh. Here he comes. Nice. Mm. There we go. Ring of health. I think I've got an even better health three attack one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep that. Ooh, scroll of health though. Scroll of health. Now is that is that just a healing or does that make my health even more? Where'd it go? There it is. I'm gonna try. Nope, it just restores the health. It was worth trying. Yeah, I've I've got plenty of food though. 
Yeah, see that that's what the experimentation is for. Yeah, so that's that's kind of my first way of thinking of reality in terms of I hear him. I hear him. Almost nipped me there. Almost. Uh resist magic, sure. Get an arrow. Why am I why am I using my nice mace to break these boxes? I really need to a little better about that. I need my map. There we go. I missed a little bit back there. I'm gonna go back there and check it out. So my second way of thinking of reality. Okay, so this is this is where I say, yeah, go find yourself a copy of Flatland the film. And uh, if if you're watching this on a certain popular streaming service, you might just be able to uh, type it into the search bar. What am I doing? I'm going back this way. Uh, type, you know, type Flatland the Film into the search bar and you'll find it. Okay, that was nothing. That was nothing. No room for the ale. Squish. I like squishing those things. Uh... Oh, I went right by, right by it. I was already there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, like, it's it, it it shows it shows the uh, the setting very nicely. Uh, you know, because if you yeah, you know, if you actually read the book, yeah, you know, it's it it reads more like the journal of somebody who's studying these little two-dimensional creatures. By the way, I do recommend reading the book as well. Uh, I always recommend reading books. Uh, and, uh, so, and, and uh, you know, trying to explain to two-dimensional creatures what three dimensions looks like. Because you know, the, the way a two-dimensional creature would see things is they would see lines. Okay, where do I want to go next, actually? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go all the way back, actually, and get that little offshoot. See what's back there. I've got plenty of time. Ooh, not that way. Not that way. So, you know, you can think of uh, going from two dimensions to three dimensions as like stacking playing cards on top of each other. And you just keep stacking and stacking and stacking until it goes from being a, a square object to a cube. I want to squish this. Squish. There we go. Let's see. I already checked this out. Right. It would be down. Oh. Was I just looking at looking at this? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. That's fine. I get, that just gives me more time to uh, talk about physics and life, the universe, and everything and so on. Uh, so, yeah, you get your yeah, trying to explain to two-dimensional guy what three dimensions looks like, yeah, you know, and then you just extrapolate from there. Well, how would you explain to a three-dimensional creature what four dimensions looks like? And uh, yeah, so we can think of it as you know, length, depth, breadth, and time uh, as as the four dimensions. It's like, okay, yeah, we can understand time. We, we perceive things um, going from essentially one end to the other. And, uh, just gotta... <clears throat> Excuse me, gotta make sure I don't fall into any more of that lava stuff. And, uh, as you are 
as you are passing through time, making decisions about where to go, which, uh, whether to stop and squish the uh, things, whether to use your bow and arrow or the magic. I can hear them. Just, all right. Yeah, this is pretty much the only way to go. He's got to be around here. I kind of want to go down this way, actually. Wait, no. That is already... Oh, that's a zombie. I'm going to get him with melee when he comes over. I'm surprised there wasn't a guy in this room. Squish. Squish! Trying to jump. There's no jump key. <laughs> um... Yeah, you can think of your life as being, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure the ult, the, uh, the, uh, official term for it is actually Time Worm, because it's like, okay, you are, yeah, you, you are a being that exists in space, but you also move through that space along the time axis. Yes. Got my arrow back. And, uh... And you can say you leave behind a trail of sorts in the past of the positions you previously were in. Yeah, so... so if, if you think of us occupying a space like that, well, then it's like, well, what are multiple time worms stacked on top of each other like? And so on and so forth. Yeah, it can be extrapolated to the extreme. We have a limited amount of time, really, that we can explore the universe in a limited field of view. Come here, bat. Ooh, hold still. Dang it. There we go. There we go. Ah, so, so much food. I'm getting so much food. I'm gonna have to come back here if, uh, if I want to, uh, you know, if I run out, I guess. I suppose backtracking to other levels isn't so bad. This is like cave two, I think. Yeah. We're doing good. We're doing good. So, you know, what I like to think of the multiverse as is just this big multi-chromatic block. Ring of speed. I have, I like the, I like the ring I have now, <laughs> especially since I uh, paid for it. Uh, get him! Ah, uh, get ya! I am going to find out what that green potion does. Put my ale down. Get the green potion. What does it do? Huh. Cola. Um, I like that. Okay. I got my ale. Uh, what am I doing now? I'm, I should check back here, just in case. You never know, there could be an item hiding in a corner. Yeah, so, so... Yeah, we've, we've got this concept of time worms that... Yeah, th this is something that can be... Ooh, hello there. Okay, they are not... They are not in a good spot for me. They are not in a good spot at all. Especially since I am on a... Uh... Why am I so slow? 
Maybe it's just because I'm backing up. I just have to get closer. To get closer. That was a good hit. Go after the bigger threat. Come on, bat. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Oh, I want to use. Yeah, you take that. Come on. Come on, who's going to recover first? Alright, uh... Agility. Definitely agility. Ouch! Ouch! Where? There we go. Whew! Alright. Should I eat something? I might, I might as well. I'm going to have that ale. So, uh, yeah, where am I going from here? I'm gonna go back and explore ba that back there, actually. I should get my arrows. Because I like arrows, and I would like to keep them. Yes, please. Still kind of disoriented. Ooh, what's this? Worn iron cap. Wah, wah. Uh, so... Yeah, I, uh, I like to think of people as being like, yeah, I'm going to use a, I should really get speed next time I, uh, uh, next time I have it as an ability upgrade. All right, so I was down this way. Ooh. 4 AC magic plus 1 8 AC. No, I'm I'm keeping this. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with this. Um tanking 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 it out. And uh yeah, okay. So people are like books in a way. Uh I don't like where he's at. I don't like where he's at at all. Come on. Get unstunned and come this way. Yes. Come on now, don't be shy. There we go. So slow. Alright. There's an apple. I'm gonna eat that right now. Come around to the bat, I guess. There's a thing. Can I get in here? Ooh, barely. Ooh. 4 10 versus 8 to 12 and paralyzed. Ooh, hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to grab that just to have so many restoration po potions. You know what? Go away, haste. I I don't care. Save it for the next guy. Uh. Yeah. If yeah. If you think of people like like books, that's a good way to uh, describe the time worms. Ooh, I don't think I've seen this kind of thing before. Yeah. Will it let me? Yeah. I'm just gonna go... Oh! Come on. Arrows are a lot more precise. Uh, I should go back and get that bat. It's driving me nuts. Come on. I, I, I do like the paralyzed quite a bit. No room for the meats. Nice. Paralyzation. Nope! Don't need that in my life. Um, 
bread. Eat that bread. I, uh... It's, you know, it's, it's like, uh, the ed ending of Adventure Time. Uh, spoilers ahead. Uh, just, like, skip ahead. I don't know, 30 seconds. Uh, the song Time Adventure describes, describes the time worm really well, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, you know, everything that happens continues to exist in its own way just for the sake of having been existing, if that makes any sense. Uh, and I find that kind of comforting in a way, um, because, you know, if a person is a book, you pick them up, read them, and when you're done, you put them back on the shelf. But, you know, that doesn't mean that they're not still there and you can't go back and read it again. I, I think uh, that's a very good way of thinking of, of the universe. You know, like, it's, 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 it's almost a static object, but it's also in motion. And uh, I think that you know, that boundary between particles and waves is really the, uh, mm, how to put this, uh, uh, is the little uncertainty factor that lets, lets things be, oh, oh, oh my, okay, yeah, get, get out, get out of here, um, Spider uh, had a little, little bit of lag there. Nope, too far. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but yeah. nice. Okay, okay, that's that's that taken care of. Uh, uh what else could I say? about the topic of time worms and uh, the multiverse. Uh, uh, kind of going back on... Uh, nice. Amulet protection. Is that more than what I've got? Yes, it is. Yes, please. Ah. Like, I am feeling protected. Like, I am very beefy. And of course that means that pretty soon now I'm gonna get in over my head. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. How are we? Man, this is a big place. Maybe I should use that discern reality scroll. Um, oh geez, how do I... How do I get this going then? Hmm. I wonder, is there enough of a delay... Come on. Come on, bat. Yeah, maybe I'm just gonna go down here. See if there's enough of a delay that I can get onto the elevator. Got him. There we go. That's good. Because maybe if I... Ah! <laughs> Yeah, let's do that again. Looks like there is a little bit of a delay. I just need to get to it quick. There we go. Ah ha ha ha! Huzzah! Maybe I'm supposed to find it from the other direction. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, here's some more platforms. And there's a bat. That wants to eat my face. I'm sure I'll think of something. Uh, oh yeah, um, thinking about um, science fiction and, and fantasy and just well, fiction in general actually, uh, as a way of exploring the universe. Yeah, if if you 
if you think of uh, multiverse theory. Now, the multiverse theory is that um, the plane of existence, as it were, yeah, because yeah, if, if you have your two-dimensional creatures, they would exist on a plane, right? Not a space. So if you think of universes as being planes, that kind of helps you uh, uh, bring the concept together, I suppose. All right, let's go. Ooh, chasm of doom. I, I should actually switch to a sword sword. Come here, bat. There we go. Arrows. I love arrows. I love getting more arrows. All right. Uh, we are we are here at a stopping point, and I got some more meat. Huzzah! Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, with that map. So, um, yeah, that was that was really good. Uh, I, I, I but. You know, I, I do want to say something a little bit more about multiverse theory. You know, you could say that any fiction that you read or watch or even daydreams, uh, that, um, yeah, that, that kind of, uh, you know, exists somewhere. And, and not only exists, but will continue to exist, uh, you know, ev you know, in in the grand scheme of things, regardless of you know whether anybody remembers it, you know, further down the cube. So, yeah, like everything is represented somewhere. <laughs> is is uh, how I could summarize that, and I will talk a little bit more in the next episode about that and. Uh, Probably uh, one of my favorite pieces of fiction of all time. It's actually a short uh, four panel comic that ran for a thousand strips. Uh, and, uh, it, and I think that it is definitely the, like the story that uh, best summarizes uh, how, how I think multiverses work. So yeah, we'll get it. We'll get into that next time. Um, and, uh, I will see you in the next episode. We had a good one. All right. I love you all. I hope you are staying, uh, safe and hunkered down. And I hope, I hope that those who are in, uh, critical areas are, uh, keeping it up, you know, keeping up the strength and take, taking it easy when you can because if you don't take care of yourself you can't take care of others any all right i think i i think that's good all right uh love you all bye